and it's done by. Hey, hey, hey. There we go. Fireworks. I've decided to extend my stay yesterday, so I'm like, all right, you know, might as well book, give a Bellagio a try again. And um, yeah, just checked in. But the cool part here is they, well, cool and bad, depending on what you're looking at. But for my circumstance, since the last time I stayed in the uh, the fountain view, uh, I ended up getting, I ended up getting a, hey, what's up? I ended up getting a, uh, a, a room on the, they call it the spa tower, which I've never stayed at, but uh, let's give it a try. They're saying it's the strip view, but you also get a partial view of the fountains. Uh, the uh, front desk person told me. So let's see how that works out. Hey, mile service guys. I'm gonna tell you right now, when I hit it big with this uh, channel, the four of us, we're gonna have meat here. And we're gonna play some poker, we're gonna play some dice, and we're gonna break some, we're gonna drink some, uh, some alcohol. <laughs> All right, y'all. So the cool part here is, well, for me, the spa tower is a little bit extended on the on the way to Aria, and it's uh, it's further distant away from the casino floor. So that might be a good thing, a bad thing. I'll get some exercise in. However, the positive side is you have quicker access to go to Aria if you like to go to Aria or Vidara and head out the other side. The spa guest towers, okay. Which is cool, because I've been walking back back and forth in this area, and I've always wondered. Because I see a couple of people going in here once in a while. I'm like, oh, maybe people want to request this if they want to stay away from the casino floors. I don't know. It's my first time. All right, let's find the 27th floor. This way is 4 to 26. Guess I got to go this way, huh? All right, let's do it. Right. I'm out of the elevators here in the spa tower. Cool. Let's go. Oh, it has a different decor. You either bust it right or left, huh? That's right. My room is this way, I guess, huh? Hello. Hello. The decor on this floor looks like an upgrade compared to the other Bellagio floors I've been on. Perhaps this floor, 27th, and above to the 33rd floor consists of only suites. This is a 2021 Bellagio Strip View Suite. And I will show you all the quirks and features of this room. So as you walk in, boom, there you go. The bathroom, the decor is, you know, this is, this, you know, it's tastefully done. Not to, not to, it's like not too modern looking or try to be like modern looking like you know solid stuff you know kind of like their uh, even their plugs are all just kind of old school fashion you know when i say old school and vintage if i use those words i meant like maybe eh, maybe like the mid 90s or whatever you know like i don't know about you guys but you know we most of us or a lot of us have that one rich friend back in the 90s and you go to their house in the 90s and you know it's like in the, in the suburbs or somewhere or you know whatever you want to call it and you go in there it kind of looks like this you know the decor and just the situation um versus if you go to some someone's uh you know wealthy house now i don't think it would have a particular decor like this but this you know i think uh stands the test of time i think in my opinion okay okay so last wear some symbols some gongs here okay no maybe it's wood huh cool all right, that's the uh, Cosmopolitan, huh? That's the Boulevard Tower, I think, because Chelsea's on the other side, huh? All right. And you don't get a dining table area, but the, you do have like an office setting here if you want to have your little, you know, consultation. Right. That's <laughs> See, like, like this stuff. Like, <laughs> for some of you folks, who, if the younger folks, they look at this, they'll be like, what the hell? You know? Just very subtle, old school. Let me turn over. Old school stuff, right? To me, it's pleasing to the eyes. It's like brings back, I guess, in, insights like fond memories from the 90s and whatnot, you know, for me personally. 
So, you know, it's a change of pace. You know, like Bellagio, they're not trying to be like funky and stuff like, ooh, we're Bellagio, let's put the latest tech in here and that kind of stuff. But this has a charisma, I think. Okay. Comment below what you think. Yeah, real leather, you know, the furniture package is, you know, it's, it's stuff, it doesn't feel like stuff you would buy, you know, at, at the, you know, downtown furniture, furniture store, you know. We, I mean, discount furniture. I mean, no offense to those who get it. I mean, we all do it. I'm just saying, for a suite in Vegas, you don't want to experience that. And, you know, that was the case at uh, Circa Suite. Let's turn, turn around. It's a very spacious uh, corridor here. It does feel spacious. Um, okay. Nothing too fancy, but it just gets the job done. Uh, has a very old school kind of Vegas feel to it, I think. Not that I know what old school Vegas actually is. But it, the design and uh, the coordination just doesn't, it feels different from the hotels I, I get at uh, on the Strip. Um, um, you know what I mean? I'm just telling you what I see. That was the case at Circus Suite. Like the furniture and all this and that. It, it just seemed like. It came from a discount warehouse store, okay? But not here, definitely not here. And where am I? Comment below, <laughs> Bellagio. Okay, so this is the uh, strip view that they speak of. No, yeah, strip view. They don't say it's a fountain view. They don't use the fountain view terminology for uh, from the spa tower here. Um, but over there, from the main tower, they call those the fountain view because you do have access to the fountain from there. But from here, it's called the strip view because some of these rooms on the spa tower, its fountain view will be blocked off by the main tower over there, especially for the rooms that are left of my situation right now. And, I'm, and I came walking in thinking like I'm gonna have like a partial view of the fountain or something like that or something like that. So, you know, double check on that if that's very important to you. Oh, oh, hello. Okay, good timing. So that's the Boulevard Tower and this is the Chelsea Tower of the Cosmo, which is now being worked into the MGM Bellagio portfolio. So maybe it'll be finalized by the uh, start of 2022. Let's turn around and get a good look from this angle. Huh, it feels spacious. Okay, it looks like they have some stuff down here. It feels solid. Okay. Ooh, is that a subwoofer? That's as high tech as they get, I guess, here at the Bellagio. <laughs> it's kind of cute, huh? I think that might be a subwoofer. Oh, yeah. It sounds like they have a JBL speaker. JBL, what, what up? Okay. This is the refrigerator, and this is stocked. I didn't stock this, so um, assuming they don't have a personal refrigerator to use. Personal refrigerator to use? A lot of the suites these days, they do have a side refrigerator that's empty that you could utilize but not here at Bellagio because they're old school all right let's move Plus, on to the bedroom high ceilings um I'll be honest with you okay just uh, brace yourself I want to jump and show you if I could touch the uh here, let me go here touch the ceiling um I used to have hops but all I got now is hopes okay <laughs> okay shout out to Mark Jackson that's his line okay all right Let's go, ready? Uh, oh. Okay, see, I can't touch it. So I'm, I'm guessing it's about 10 feet tall or 10 feet high. All right, cool, things I do for you guys. So you walk into the bedroom, immediately if you look right, bathroom, another toilet. So you got two toilets here on top of the other toilet. Um, and there's a shower area, okay, and, and you know, Good old shower. And they have a steam mist, which I'll use later. I'll give it a try. Hopefully I don't knock out from too much heat. But I'll be live streaming while I do it, so you guys will keep an eye on me, okay? <laughs> Utilize for something else, because I think this is kind of a waste of space to have two toilet here. I mean, who needs to go poop that much, you know? Hey, hey baby, let me go poop, okay? I'll go poop too. I mean, come on. I don't know. 
I'm not in a relationship right now, so I don't know if that goes on or not, but comment below if that's what you guys do. Just don't poop at the same time on the same toilet, I guess, huh? But, you know, if you have one here and one out there, that's two. You got two anyways. There you got what's needed for three. Three's a crowd, guys. I'm not, this is not criticism, but let me move on. Okay, so you got some Crest Scope. And you got Colgate toothpaste. Isn't that cute? All right. Some shaving cream. Cool. Okay. And then, I guess they got some kind of a TV here, right? Old school, but I love this font. It's cool. It's just old school, huh? It's called Electric Mirror. Oh yeah. <laughs> cool story, huh? Alright, more mirror. Okay. Oh, who's that? And then you got a a, a tub. Tub of roux. And then in there, you got some bath salt and a loofah. You know, oh, they have jets here. Oh, I forgot about that. So I might actually use this. Do some bath salt and do my thing. Okay. Is this a, no, it is not. It's not a tuck towel. It's a coiler. Coiler, coiler. Okay. And is it a special? No, it's just a torque. Get your torque on. Okay. Get your torque, your torque on. Come on, get your torque on. Okay, cool. Beep, 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 hello. The 90s called. They want their phone back. <laughs> All right, moving on. And then you got the closet here. Large, perfectly sized closet. Oh, the <laughs> hangers are more gaudy. Okay, cool. Hey, look, this is interesting. Just one robe. I guess they knew I was coming solo, huh? Wrap yourself in luxury. All right, I'm gonna go have dinner in this. <laughs> cool story. It's, you know, it's like, okay. Is that something to do? Oh, some slippers down there. Okay. All right. Some bed action. Yes. <laughs> That's the view from the room. Pretty day, huh? You lay down on this side. Okay. Okay, well, I'm wearing red shoes. Red shoes. Wow, the room also feels spacious. Uh, nothing about the suite feels cramped in. Little sitting area. Okay. And then, wow, just chill out here. This is what you see. Oh yeah, it looks like I lucked out with this particular shirt view. I'm not sure what the square footage is in here, but I'm guessing it's gonna be around a thousand square feet, okay? That's what I'm gonna guess, okay? Ooh. Oh, this is delicate, do not run into this. Yeah, that's, that's pretty, it's huh? Cute, it was cute and uh, cool. Q, no, that doesn't make sense, Q. No, all right, this, Let's omit, omit that. Yeah, look, cool, huh? Hey, hey, hey. All right, I'm just chilling here. And, uh, got some sports games going on, mostly basketball. Uh, that's the main TV, that's just my laptop. I'm, str I'm streaming a game here. And if you need additional coverage for different games, there's one going on here. This is from the bedroom. And if you need additional coverage, you have uh, an option here, right on the mirror. So if you turn it off, you kind of see a mirror almost. And another one here. Its cable system here offers more channels than I've seen at any other MGM properties room. All these channel options is making me crave a particular food. So before I head out, I better. I guess I gotta show you one of these uh, little fountain shows from this angle. Um, I don't know if it looks any different. But I'll compare it to the Fountain View suite in the main tower later on. One take. Oh, you know what? I'll shoot. Let's connect it. Two rams hitting each other. Boom. All right. One take. Here it is. Uh, this is the uh, morning view of uh, here. 
this is this is this is for my bed, right? Oh sweet. Cool. All right, let's show you the morning view uh, from the living room. The reason I brought that was uh, I had my first In-N-Out meal yesterday, last night, uh, in over a year. And I am from In-N-Out territory, so it's a normal kind of uh, burger place for me. For go To go without it for a year, it's probably never happened in my life uh, since the first time I had it, which was when I was a kid. All right. Since last March. Uh, my take. And I've never had it in and out in Las Vegas. So, you know, here we go. Uh, this is on Tropic County Avenue, just right off the freeway. So this is the in and out that I was like watching or keep observing the sign from uh, my hotel room when I was staying at the Park MGM. You know what? That's pretty good. Oh, I just noticed this. Check this out. <laughs> I was just about to videotape the Tom's Urban food that I had laid out on the table in this uh parking jam room when i noticed the uh, the in and, in and out sign and went a little haywire the in and out sign there's an in and out burger on this side hey who's that huh okay oh boy my tom's urban and park mgm videos coming up soon all right let's see if the in and out here in vegas he's the same as in and out in la hey, hey. yeah so i just ordered and paid and it's interesting the the, the type of service and the personnel characteristics it's exactly what you get in la cool let's see how this goes if not more or less okay so here we go and in and out you got to eat it in the car it's, you know it's in and out you eat it in the car and then you, you leave whatever okay my first time having in and out in las vegas and i ordered two double doubles uh, both type of onion raw and grilled with extra lettuce extra tomatoes and uh, two orders of fries. Extra crispy, extra well done. That's the trick to in and out fries, I think, because they have a bad rep of being like limp or something like that. I think the trick is that you got to get it extra well done. See, like this. You see that? Oh, perfectness. Has a crispy outside. Mm -hmm. And then I got the Neapolitan um, milkshake. Oh, there you go. I'm gonna eat. Woo wee! That was the perfect fifteen dollar meal. All right, hey, hey, hey. This is a 2021 Bellagio Room Review. Uh, this is, I think, called the uh, uh, Fountain View uh, Suite. Um. And here we are. I want to show you all the quirks and features of this room. Okay, I'm gonna probably stop that. Okay, so you walk in here. Okay, little area. Okay, solid. This fountain view suite pretty much mimics the strip view suite that I showed you earlier. But I'll show you the few components that are different. This, I think this is a smoking room. No wonder. Kind of, there was a slight hint of different smell. So, I didn't think they made smoking rooms, but I guess you could smoke. Because there's an ashtray. Yeah, you, you get to smell the cigarette. Here's the key difference. Most of the suites in the main tower are smoking optional. But all the suites at the spa tower are non-smoking. A lot of switches to go through, but there you go. And another major difference between okay. the fountain view suite and the strip view suite is obviously the view. Okay. The price difference between the strip view and the fountain view could hover around from $50 to $100 a night. And the Bellagio suite, which is the same format as these rooms, but without the strip or the fountain view, is about $50 to $100 less than the strip view suite. So, depending on what you're looking for, so let's just break it down like this. There's basically three tiers to these one bedroom suites. First tier, the standard one is called Bellagio suite which is uh, situated either in the main tower or the spa tower. But those don't have a strip view or a fountain view. Check the details. These could be labeled the city view, the mountain view, or the pool view. I'm holding a phone with the camera. And for clarity, the strip view suites are always at the spa tower, and those offer the strip view and a partial view of the fountain, 
but sometimes if you get lucky, you could get the full view of the fountain like I did earlier in this video. And if you book the fountain view suite, such as this one, these are always at the main Bellagio Towers. This suite happens to be on the 35th floor, which is one level below the top floor. And it happens to be on the spine of this tower, which means you're near the elevator and you have center view of the fountains. If you're paying for these sweet prices, I'm like, all right, just splurge a little bit and just get the fountain view suite. Unless you're sensitive to cigarette smoke because most of the suites here in the main tower are smoking optional. Ooh, it's like, yeah, it has a little charm here, like old school charm. And when we say old school, you know, <laughs> mid 90s geez i guess yeah that's what 20 30 years ago then huh mid 90s like in 85 1985 when i was a kid and they talked about you know even like 1965 it's like whoa it's so long ago so if i'm doing the calculation right it'll be 1955 back then Ooh wee! wow if the strip or the fountain view is not mandatory I suggest just book the Bellagio suite and save a few hundred dollars. Cause at check-in, you could always smile and cross your fingers and ask for a complimentary view upgrade. And chances are you'll get lucky on that. If not, you still got that $200 you saved. You could just take that to the casino, place one bet on the blackjack table and see what happens. Ooh, all right, thank you for watching.